So the question says AD is equal to DB is equal to BC. This is given in the question. The question is asking this angle. Now statement 1 says AB is equal to AC. Now let's try solving this question. As these two sides are equal, if this is angle C, this also becomes angle C. This becomes 180 minus 2C. If this is angle A, then as these two sides are equal, this also becomes angle A. And see, this is the external angle. This is the exterior angle to this triangle BCD. And therefore, this has to be equal to 180 minus 2C plus C, which is 180 minus C. Now see, as these two sides are equal, AB and AC, these are equal. In the bigger triangle, try to imagine the angle opposite the side AB, which is angle C, should be equal to the angle opposite the line AC, which is 180 minus 2C plus A. So we get one more equation. And remember, look at this. This angle C is the exterior angle to triangle CAB, and therefore C can be called 2A. C is equal to 2A. So we can say that 2A is equal to 180 minus 4A plus A. Therefore, this is minus 3A practically. This comes here. This becomes 5A. 5A is equal to 180 degrees. So A is equal to 36 degrees. I was able to find the value of angle A using statement 1 alone. 1 is sufficient. Coming to statement 2, let's draw it again. Coming to this one, when a circle with center A is drawn, the question says AD is equal to DB is equal to BC. And when a circle with A as center and AB as radius is drawn, C lies on circumference of the circle. That means indirectly it is saying AB is equal to AC. So indirectly is the same thing. It's the same message conveyed in a different way. So if statement 1 was sufficient, statement 2 is also sufficient. 